Hmm. Did it pop back on? It's back on. Fuck, I don't know. This thing is just a piece of shit. That's that's what it is. It's just a piece of shit. Sacramento, California. Today is day eight. We are 3,530 something miles in, so we've been averaging 500 miles a day. For the last seven days, we are wore out. Yesterday was a day from hell. We left Crescent City, we crossed some crazy ass mountain range in uh, Northern uh, California, and I, I saw 107 degrees. It was just insane. The road was extremely technical. It was 144 miles of just uh, switchbacks and twisties and off camber apexes it was just a lot of work a lot of work it wore us out really really quick uh, today's route is going down the i-5 getting off on a little side road we don't know what it's called but highway 120 i think so and then we're going to go into uh, yosemite which will be at 9,000 feet so it should be pretty cool um, both figuratively and literally and uh, we'll see you probably there or when we stop to get lunch spilly here um Thought we'd bring you a little treat. It's kind of a fun thing that, that we just saw on the side of the road and decided to stop. And that's one of the beauties of a trip like this is that you, know, you make your own time, you make your own destiny. If you see something, you just go for it. And we stopped here at a basically a skydiving center, but they have very close access to the aircraft. And we found a very old school, Tracy. <laughs> hey, but I'm not old school. <laughs> but that's uh, that's you've seen him a few times. A few. But uh, we found a very old um, DC three. It's just it's just cool. It's just parked out here, static. And uh, it's just I don't know. It's just a neat piece of history. Um, I don't really know my aircraft history as well as I should, considering. But um, I believe these these birds were were active around. The late 40s, mid 40s, something like that. Primarily passenger aircraft. Um, this this one was a former skydiving bird that's just looks like it's been retired for from how she's sitting. But as you can see, parked the VIF right next to it to, to get some like really really badass photos. So um, cool stuff, cool stuff. Um, there were quite a few skydivers coming down earlier. I guess they just had a, a jump, but I wasn't able to get them on video. But you know, it's just, it's, it's just one of those like really neat things that you see on accident and you're not really uh, looking for it. I thought this was kind of cool. Um, right here, right here is uh, then remove before flights. Um, sticker right there. And uh, basically that's a hold um, for your um, vertical stabilizer. So it's just a little cotter pin that stabilizes it. And if you come here and look around the, at the fifth, uh, I have a mock-up on my keychain of the exact same thing right here. So, oops, <laughs> uh, it's just 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 kind of a neat thing, you know. I, I love aircraft. I just uh, adore them. So, very very cool stuff. What you doing there, Trace? Fixing the Lexus. It looks like. Yes, sir. He's helping me out, man. You know what? You know what you need. There, this this plastic piece on the bottom, yeah. the tabs that hold it looks like it came off. Yeah. But I have some zip ties and there's a spot here where I can run a zip tie through and hold it and hold up. <laughs> so and then come down again. So let yeah, me let's see. <laughs> see if we can't tie that up for you. <laughs> see? This is what we do. 
we we have to carry all the emergency equipment, all the tools and stuff, and uh, you know, on occasion we find folks that you know need our our goodness. So it's kind of a cool situation. I can't tell you how much I Oh, it's no problem. So uh, we're gonna zip tie the weather guard there on the uh, the Lexus and yeah. get these nice folks on their way. Yes, ma'am. Tell everybody what a good guy I am. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, okay, and we'll follow him back. <laughs> Just call me the guy. It's always a pain in the ass. I can't see. I can't get down. I'm on my knees when I get yeah. down. I can't get back up. Uh, I'm still pretty young. Yeah, it'll happen to us eventually, so. You know, the hard part's gonna be. <laughs> I'll try. That's what we do. We are in uh, Yosemite National Park. It is about 90 degrees, which is better than the 106 we were dealing with coming in. So, you know, it's all relative, I guess. Einstein had something good going on there. But we just wanted to take a moment to kind of look at the scenery. We're just uh, about three miles into the park. We're gonna go up to see. El Capitan and take some photos of that and just see whatever we see. But I wanted to take a second because I found this. I went out into the woods to pee because I have a tiny bladder and what I'm assuming. But I had to show you guys this that I found out there. I can't take it back in my bags because it's, uh, it's just a little large. But is that the biggest damn pine cone you've ever seen in your life? Put it up to your head. <laughs> We're in the middle of the Yosemite National Park. Uh, cooling off a little bit because number one, it's hot. Number two, Billy's about to ready, about ready to be a fool. And we just stopped to take a break and take in the sights, check out the really cool waterfall we found. This is Bridal Falls. I'm gonna have to take my uh, wide angle off to, uh, to actually get it appropriately. Yeah. So um, wide angles off. And look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's beautiful, right? And that's uh, Bridal Falls, I think it was called, or Bridewell Falls, or something like that. Bridal Vale, I think. Bridal Vale, something yeah, like that. So. It's just gorgeous. And uh, this is just some crazy stuff. It's, it's beautiful here, but it's so crowded that the fun factor is really, low. it's really, really low. So we're enjoying ourselves, but these tards in their cages are ruining our day. We're debating whether that's El Capitan. It looks like it, but I think it's too close. I think I have. So look at the GPS maybe. What's up, Trace? I'm gonna say something you don't hear me say very often on film. Fuck! <laughs> Jesus! Christ, you gotta be kidding me! We're hot as balls, we go to leave. Testicular perspiration for the wind, goddammit. We go to leave, and we're already hot, we're pissed off. We get about five miles away from El Capitan. We hit gravel, road ends, pavement ends. They meant there is no more pavement in the park. No more. Been on this shit, as you can see, for the last 11 miles. A lady pulled up up here a minute ago to work for the construction company, setting a new cone. So I ran down and asked her, before I even got a word out of my mouth, she goes, You're almost there, man. There's a mile left, and then you hit new pavement. Thank God, because we are tired of this shit. And by the way, Yosemite National Park, you were getting a nasty letter, a nasty email, and a nasty phone call from my ass as soon as I get home, and maybe when I get to the hotel tonight. They warned us at Rocky Mountain National Park that there was gravel at the top. There was like six feet of gravel, and they warned us. This is 12 miles, and they didn't say a freaking word to us. Bastards. Okay, I'm done. I'm pissed. 
Yosemite National Park, the most unfriendly motorcycle park ever. And as Tracy said, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Thank you! Thanks for putting fucking water down on the road you know to make it. It's gonna be even more slippery. That means we got 10 minutes to get the fuck out of here because when he hits the end, he's turning around. All right, then, no pictures then. No. Nope. Get out of here before he comes back this way. Yeah. Let's go.